Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I read a short story by Felipe Alfeu in his collection Locos. And Felipe Alfeu is a Spanish writer who wrote in English, and so this is a non-translated work. And Locos is a series of interconnected uh, short stories, and Alfeu in the foreword or preface makes the point to say that it's a collection of short stories that you can dip into at any point. So you could start reading in the middle and wind yourself back to the beginning and still get the full effect of uh, all of the stories. And I started at the beginning. I read Identity. And it's all, all of these short stories are... Um, humorous, there's a lot of black comedy, uh, postmodernism. the author uh, is very much uh, involved in the stories, there's a blurred line between uh, certain characters and um, narrators, who, who's, who's telling the story and who's involved in the story, but identity is um, an absurd black comedy and it's incredibly amusing and it's the story it starts with a friend uh, a person talking about a friend who is incredibly unremarkable just um, sort of a background person who's nearly invisible and uh, as much as this uh, friend tries to um, gain notoriety or show themselves they're, they're just like this invisible uh, character and um, unimportant. Um, his name was Falano. Poor Falano's unimportance had arrived at the degree of making him almost invisible and inaudible. His name was unimportant. His face and figure were unimportant. His attire was unimportant. And his whole life was unimportant. In fact, I don't know how I myself ever noticed him. True enough that he crushed my hand, dislocated my arm, and kicked me on the shin when I met him. And throughout the story, uh, there's these episodes where uh, Falano, this invisible man, is shaking people by the shoulders before they even uh, recognize his existence. He's screaming in people's ears. Nobody notices. He's shouting fire in movie theaters uh, and totally dismissed. Uh, there's a scene where he throws a brick through a bank, shatters the glass window of the front of the bank, and uh, the bank clerk runs out the sidewalk, and there's Falano uh, standing there, and the man looks around, doesn't see anybody, doesn't see Falano, and walks back into the bank. And uh, the friend, the narrator, even makes a point to say, you could really take advantage of how unremarkable, how unimportant, how nearly invisible you are if you wanted to. And Falano, the, the irony is that Falano uh, always wanted to be famous. He wanted to be well known. He would walk down the streets and everybody would be cheering him on and nodding at him and things like that. And so, uh, Falano is like in the throes of despair. He just he can't ever get anybody's attention. And each time he meets somebody, he's shaking him by the shoulders. But finally, he's at a cafe with his friend, and um, they sit down with a doctor. And uh, Falano is uh, waxing on about this, how no, no one ever notices him, he's unremarkable, and is asking for advice. And the doctor says, well, I, I know what you should do. You should go kill yourself. And Falano goes like, like what? What are, you, what are you talking about? Like suicide? And the doctor goes, well, you, you misunderstand me. Your identity is what is unimportant and has become invisible. If you could somehow kill your identity, maybe you'll move on and have this brand new life. And this convinces Falano. He leaves his little town 
and goes to the big city of Madrid. And he goes to this bridge. He has all of his identification papers, stuffs them in his uh, jacket pockets, and uh, hangs it um, at the edge of the bridge with a suicide note, and then just leaves. And the idea was going to be, the scheme is that somebody was gonna find this and realize that this person had committed suicide, and now Falano can go on and leave this, uh, lead this uh, brand new life. And uh, he does this, he puts his coat there, writes the suicide note, leaves all of his identification papers, and then goes back to his little town. Well, a recently escaped convict is walking down the street and finds these identification papers and decides, I'm going to switch with this person. I'm going to be uh, the person who committed suicide. And so he switches the identification papers. And so now uh, this person that drowned is the convict, and the convict becomes... Uh, the identity of this unremarkable person. And <laughs> they're back in town. Uh, Falano now is just through the roof irate, and he meets his friend again and the doctor because the convict who took his identity has become famous. He's become a successful business person. He's known around town. <laughs> Everybody loves him. And his name is Falato. And he's going like, irony of ironies. This person is living the life that I wanted. And he's upset with his friend. He's upset with the doctor. And he goes, well, now what am I supposed to do? This person is now stole, has now stolen my identity and is now me. And the convict has drowned in, in the river. And the doctor goes, well... You, you've become the convict now. This person has taken your identity. It's clear now that it wasn't your identity that was unremarkable. It's you. You need to now join the identity at the bottom of the river. And it ends um, as a dark ending. <laughs> uh, poor Falano goes back to where he had left his identification papers and then jumps over the bridge. So, uh, it's humorous, it's dark, uh, there's moments where the friend who's talking to Falano um, makes a point to say that Falano leaves, uh, leaves the cafe, or leaves the restaurant, or leaves town, and in a normal situation, uh, he wouldn't be able to know what he is doing, but the friend is also the author, and so uh, an author is able to just... Um, follow anybody around and uh, the author knows that there's going to be this uh, mix-up but can't say anything uh, even though he is the friend um, and that goes on throughout the whole collection this kind of postmodern um, it reminds me of Diderot uh, like Jacques the Fatalist where the narrator is an involving character throughout the stories um, so uh, the first short story uh, by Felipe Alfeu, Locos. Uh, let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you've read anything else by this author, any of the other short stories. Uh, and thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you would like, and take care.